Hey, it's Coolie if you don't know, and it is time to resume our long run of CrossCode. Wait, Ninja! Look at this. Some super cute ninja outfit that means nothing. Thank you again to Scarlet for that. Anyway, uh, we are currently level 10, and that's not really enough for what our next goal is. So we're going to do a couple of more quests. Uh, yeah, I guess let's do bowl grab. Find the food collector along the main route through Autumn's Rise. A follower? You mean, uh, my friend here? This is Emily. We met her at the beginning of the game. the path. Jewel, you can stop pointing out that the, the uh, stream quality sucks. Again, nothing I can do about it. Oops. Then what are you referring to? Ah, Jewel, our resident potato. Hey, where is this guy? This is on the main path, but I'm not seeing him so far. Ninety-nine percent sure it's not this guy over here. Hello, I'm the canonical NPC. Nice weather. Nice weather today, right? Right? Also, I've had this weird issue with my computer for the last couple of days where, uh, for some reason, something is CPU spiking, like, every 20 seconds or so. All I know for sure is that it's something uh, within the Windows services, but that's kind of hard to diagnose, because everything runs through Service Host. So hopefully that doesn't affect things too much, but we'll see. Okay, I've been through the entire path now, and I have not found this person they're talking about. Hmm. 
Unless he's like super out of the way. Would be better for what exactly? Like I I have seen like I've actually tried um like recording in 30 frames a second and it actually results in larger files. In some cases, so If it is a connection issue, then that's not going to help, as far as I'm aware. As far as these lag spikes, again, that's the, uh, that's the service host being a butt, and I don't know why, because it wasn't doing that until a couple of days ago, and now it's doing that continuously. I mean, normally I would have split tunneling on... Oh, there you go. Hi. Ah, don't be so loud. Do you want them to hear you? I'm talking about these thieving bovines. They've ambushed me and stole all the fruits and herbs I've been gathering. Look at that bee grazing there like nothing happened. And there's more of them waiting in the bushes, just waiting for a victim. But you were sent to help me, right? I worked all day collecting that stuff. We need to get it back. Well, you have to do it. I have to watch for reinforcement. So, good luck. Anyway, um, I used to have split tunneling on, but that, like, since their last update, that breaks all Java applications. And I'm not really sure why. Uh, let's see. What is the button for- okay, there we go. Oh, come on, how many rounds are there? I'm gonna die. Uh, let's see. Oh, damn it. Anyway, slip tunneling is where, uh, basically you can, uh, designate some specific, uh, programs to bypass the VPN. Ow.
Um, there we go. And now deal with everything. At the very least, I seem to be doing better at this one. Throwing things at me. of my labor literally mm -hmm. thanks a bunch you totally saved my butt there but now i gotta get going and deliver these before it's too late so bye go back to mr nom's work fantastic name There you are. I've already received the package. Well done. This could finally be a breakthrough for my career. I can feel it in my gut, along with a burning hunger for nutrition. In any case, here's your due reward. Got a bunch of stuff there, and a level up. You're excited. Okay, let's see. What equipment do I have? So, head, torso, and legs are level 9. I could probably use some replacements for those. Um, that's an option. Leg work do again. Increase your movement speed while aiming. Bovine armor. I need three golden triangles for the core drill. Gee, I wonder what these golden triangles are. Wait, did my money go down? Did I accidentally buy one of those? No, I didn't. Oh, I do have this, though. Go ahead and equip that. Upgrade. I 
needs seven junk metal. Who sells junk metal? You do. Scope a little bit and also my max HP. I get more attack and defense. I get assault. Requires additional projectiles when using the melee attacks with a fraction of the attack strength. Oh, that's not. Uh, see if I can get some boots. Yeah, there, there are bees here. I'm not really a fan of. Um, I would need two junk metal for bees, and I think that's what I want. So I'm thinking, uh, where is it? Last thing that I want to do before fighting Grasshead. Uh, I don't know if the stats are random. I wouldn't think that they would be, but, um... Anyway, the, like the, the important thing is we need to level up, get stronger, get better gear and all that. Same as an MMO. Um, so yeah, uh, last thing that I want to do before going to beat um, Senior Grasshead is this one. Which is a level 15 elite quest. Press the right button there, cool, yeah. And... Uh, I'm dead. That's where I need to go. So one screen west, one screen south, and then two screens west. And as usual, everything is on some sort of weird convoluted path. I just love this battle theme.
Frank ass. Unfortunately, we're kicked immediately out of rank S because of boss encounter. Sandwich. Let me eat my fucking sandwich. Um, chef sandwich. Some range on that slam, though. Oh, thank you, Emily. You are a sweetheart. A golden ring and two chili dogs. Because, of course. Gotta go back to the uh, the old man here, which I have to remember where he is. It's up here, yeah. I have to remember how to get there. Here, there we go. Welcome back, young lady. Did you find the broken gauntlet yet? Really? This is very good. I knew I could count on you. Such a fine young lady with expert listening skills. Well, she doesn't exactly have talking skills, so she gotta have some. Thanks a lot. I even have something, a little something for you as a reward. Oh, I never asked for your name. I'm Dakar. Keith Dakar. Uh, Keaton Dakar. Leah, hi. Well, I'm not long, I'm not good with long goodbyes, so let's keep this one short. Bye. <laughs> yeah, that was a short goodbye, alright. Let's no lie there. Um, it did not give us a level up. I think I need something from Bergen Trail. From Bergen Trail? Yeah. Bergen, anyway. In order to... There's that question mark item there. Um, I am close to leveling up, so I'm gonna go kill some things in the field, get to level 12, and we'll call that good. And be able to go fight Bungus McChungus.
You're not doing this to mess with me, we? Hey, yes, what do you mean by that? <laughs> it took another player for an enemy. Good thing there's no PvP in this game. Well, mostly no PvP. There's no in-world PvP. You have to declare a PvP arena space and things. I think we're almost there. A couple more enemies. Yep, you see my experience bar flash in there. That means we are ready to level up. I shall do so immediately upon exiting Kama. Uh, looks like Emily is uh, still level 11, but she's not going to be part of the duel anyway, so it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, let's spend our circuit points. Um, defense might be a good idea. Um, increase resistance to all elements, or more defense. More attack power. Is this help? And this is focus. So mostly SP gain. Utilitarian stuff. Increase melee. Now I mostly rely on melee. Okay? All right. What? What is the deal with your stats? Let's explain why I waited so long. You took your time to prepare. No, let's get this over with. Are you ready for the duel? Good. Oedipus, it's time for you to step back. Lee Lee. Get ready. PvP combat, activate. What is it? Is this your first PvP battle? Player versus player. It's simple. We fight several rounds. Five out of nine. No items, no escape. <laughs> Calm down, Leah. It's gonna be fine. Go, Leah! I'm sure you can do it! The time has come. I, Apollo, will show you the right path. The path of a proper Sparomancer! The path of justice. Let the duel begin. Ah. Not so much that she's lost her voice. Um, basically, but as you know, this is a MMO, uh, like a hyper futuristic MMO. Um, and right now what we've been told is that our, uh, speed, uh, our, basically our speech module is malfunctioning. Ow. Yeah. Haha! <laughs> this isn't over yet! 
Oh, jeez in hell. It's over now. Uh, no, not banned from voice chat. It's her, her speech synthesis is malfunctioning, and so Sergey is having to basically manually hard code specific words in. It looks like I underestimated you. Yes, you are indeed a worthy opponent. I'm glad to know that skilled Sparamancers remain among us. However, you have yet to unlock the true potential of this class. Next time we meet, I'll make sure to test your skills once more. Until then, blue-haired uh, blue Sparamancer. Leah. Serious Monsieur is very serious. Looks like you got yourself a rival, Leah. You really did kick his derriere, though. That was awesome. Anyway, I really have to go now. Seriously, we've been playing for so long. But it was so much fun. So let's play, to uh, let's play together again next time, d'accord? Très bien. Until then. Au revoir. Just in time. Bye! Huh? Oh, we oui, goodbye. See you soon. It looks like I edited that world just in the, in the nick of time. I figured you only did sooner or later. Well then, I think we should call it today as well. I kind of need a bike myself to be playing. Do not worry. You'll be back in the game soon. Good night, Leah. Wee oui, wee, oui, so much fun. Sure, it's supposed to be a long parkour. It's all about the journey, no? We better make it last. Yes, apple trees all over the place. She would have loved that place. Hmm. I suppose I might as well show that place to you. Someday. Good morning, Leah. Are you, are you all right? And you still remember everything from yesterday, right? Meeting Emily and all that? Alright, great. Oh, by the way, it seems that Emily is, is online as... Oh, that must be her. It's like a phone call. Just take it. Bonjour, Leah. Hi! This is a direct, li uh, direct link. First time you've seen it? Really fancy, no? Anyway, I already had it. I already went ahead a bit and had a look around Bergen Trail. We can form a party again if you want. Just tell me by the link, wait. Oh, I almost forgot. I think the next dun dungeon will be in that mountain village, no? We should enter the dungeon at the same time. Keeping the tradition of our dungeon racing duels. Let me in. Make sure you, you don't enter that dungeon without me, d'accord? You're around. And Lincoln, there. Well then, time to continue. You can I invite Emily to, to your party or just go by yourself? It's your choice. So. It shows us how we can add party members, but it's really quite simple. Party, take Emily, and invite. I see you're looking for a po formidable punching force. I'm ready. Also, I can't make up my mind on how to properly pronounce things. 
Yes, we have uh, finished. Oops. The first official in game chapter. We can read all sorts of information. So, Awakening is when we were on the uh, MS Solar. Uh, this is the chapter that we just finished that ended with um, Fighting Apollo. Oh, no, wait. Hmm. Okay, this is, this is going up to Rookie Harbor, and this is up to Fighting Apollo. Gotcha. Yeah, this game has a lot of background information. Ah. Just, sorry. Just had the most dramatic event ever. Seriously. A little shaking. Hey? Right? Yeah, hi. I can, sorry, I'm not normally so jumpy. I mean, you won't believe what happened. I was running off an off I was running on an off-road path here at Bergen Trail. Suddenly this huge and vicious bunny creature attacked me from the side. I was just so surprised and just ran down here and collapsed. I mean, I heard there was a super strong monster in the mountains, but I can't believe it. I still have to become much stronger. You know what? You're right. I shouldn't be scared of some monster. It's just a game, right? I should find this thing, give it a good whacking. Right. But how about you help me? You know, ease into the action and all that jazz? I'll reward you too, come on. Yeah, I think we can help out. Yeah, thank you so much. I think we should start by ask asking my friends about that thing. Both of them are pretty smart and they always know stuff. One of them is a hexacast and is in Rookie Harbor. Not sure exactly where he is, though. I remember him saying something about an inn he loves. The other is a tribe leader. He should be around the obelisk at Alan's Rise. I'll send word to both of you, both of them by directly so they know that you're coming. Sorry, I'm not a fan of this messaging. I like to handle things personally. While you talk to those guys, I'll talk to the people here. By the way, what's your name? I'm Jean. Leah, hi. Is your speech module jammed or something? Kinda seems like it. I see. Must be hard using the direct link. I'll include this in my message to the guys. Alright, Leah, let's begin. Now keep in mind, Emily was here for that conversation. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, let's see. So the obelisk got on its rise here. Uh, so it should be close by this guy. Hi! Sorry, I'm kind of in the middle of something here. Oh wait, you're that girl. Uh, Leah, right? Jean already told me you'd come. Sorry to get you involved. I can't understand why she's not using the direct link. Yeah, anyway. This is about the bunny or whatever she saw, right? I do remember you can summon some sort of legendary bunny by collect collecting five frosted carrots somewhere in Bourbon Trail. But there was another requirement. I can't remember what it was. Maybe our Hexacast friend Jock, Jock knows more about it. Yep, that's all. Also, I'm Jeff. Nice to meet you. Hi, Leah. Hi. Ah, uh, there's a problem with the speech module Jean told me about. Mm. Yeah, don't sweat it. I'll just yell at Jean everything I told you. She should learn how to use the direct link system anyhow. Okay, and then the other guy was at the inn.
Good day, Leo. Hey. <laughs> Darn pressure is quine. Gene told me I'll bet you. Damn joke. Shocking for you, huh? Heard your speech module is broken. Fish wash luck the chill from that lossy nonetheless. <laughs> so you want to kin something about the legendary bunny, eh? Alright, how's it with Ken? I heard you need to find some sort of, some sort of rune capture device. You can tell Jean to make uh make make the firm the device, but she still needs something else. But I don't know what I, I don't know Ken what it is. <laughs> I'll send you another detail. They make wounded at mirror uh when you have to Get the way up tight later, my god. I am... Yeah, I am massacring this for sure. I don't even know where to start with Scots. Hey Leah. Hi hi. Just heard back from the guys. Can't believe this. I told them not to DL me. And again, your speech module is broken, so it's probably better this way. But on to business. So from Jeff we knew we know that we need five frosted carrots. And from Doc we need we know that we need a capture device. And I found out that this creature seems to show up a lot on the windy climb parts of Rogan Trail. Let's split the work. You go and collect the frosted carrots and I'll try to get my hands on these capture devices. We'll meet here again once we're finished, alright? So, are these carrots? No, these are young robins. Bunnies. We're fighting cute little bunnies. May I take that back? These bunnies are not cute. Small fluffy fighting machine. These bunnies have quite the kick. It is nothing compared to Pentafit's punch, am I right, Leah? We're on a roll! Also, it's this guy again. Oh! Hello, Leah! Hi! We meet again. And just so happens that I have a new request. Ah, wait, I mean, I just finished up preparations again. Yes, that's what I meant. A anyway. I know you all helped me already, but how about doing it again? Really? Very good. The tasks are the same as last time. I want to gather some data from Bergen Trail this time. Your help will make it much easier. I can compile the list again. Some enemy scouting, local flora and the landmark sphere. And of course a probe. I asked another player to place it in the cave. The problem is I don't know which one it is. I'm sorry, but it seems like you have to check all of them. I'd be honored if you would help me gather all the intel. Alright, here we go. Please find out what you can and return to me. Thank you so much for your help. And in case you forgot what the probe looks like, it looks the same as the one next to me. <laughs> okay. Uh... Ah! 
for now, we're gonna turn those off. We're gonna turn these on. Uh, and turn this one on too. It's a laser bridge! Laser bridge! See, that's why I was confused when I started playing um, Link to the Past Rando. Like, they were talking about um, Laser Bridge, which is a spot in Turtle Rock. But I was just thinking of how Emily keeps uh, rejoicing over the laser bridges in this game. Rampaging up a storm. Let's see if we can get to rank F. There it is. <laughs> also, I missed that message, but uh... Sure, let's jump along this narrow path above the endless abyss. Put them down! What? I disagree, game. And that was a flying seahorse shooting bubble. Becca. I think we can safely uh, rename Bergen Trail to Bunny Mountain, no? These things are everywhere. Ah, pressed the wrong button. Out of behind there. There we go. Ah, no. Uh, over here. Oh, no. I didn't hit that switch. A snowman? Why would it attack us? Oh jeez. It attack us because I attacked it first. And I'm almost dead. Hubris. No. Fortunately, we start back from here. Would you be the type to run marathons in your spare time, Leah? Just wondering.
Hmm. Interesting that you have this little side area here that doesn't seem to serve much purpose. Also, these gnomen are kind of serious business, at least for right now. Oh, jeez. But I'm pretty sure... Ah, uh, these are the assholes that we actually have to kill in order to get the... the, uh, the carrots. The frosty carrots or whatever it is. Oh, we got another level up. Or wait, no, that was the same level up because we died on the same screen. Never mind. Sure looks pretty cold around here. Good thing you can't really feel all that cold as an avatar. Or you can configure the sensors for so you can properly feel the temperature for whatever reason you like to do that. Not having much luck against these guys. are funny. You just defy, defy gravity and climb wherever they please. Well, at least regular, hosts, regular ghosts won't shoot horns at you. Yeah, things aren't messing around in this area right now. Speaking of defying gravity, I'm pretty sure I just skipped that friggin gap. OSP. Oh. Fucking. Okay, how about we just don't fight you? Go back to the original plan of not fighting the snowman. going to have to eventually, just not close to that group over there that has the snowman in it. Oh, well, here's a cave. And there's a level up. Refined metal.
Ah, you've made it to a land bridge. Activating those, we activate that little um, jump pad. Which lets us go up to here. Hi! Great view from up here, huh? Personally, I like watching people more than admiring the view. This is the area right before Burden Village. People get excited when they realize they're finally at the end of uh, at the end of the trail. Seeing the look on their faces, there's nothing quite like it. it. Takes me back to when I climbed the trail for the first time. Yes, I did see you actually. Yeah, the look on your face it said you'd figure out a way to get up here sooner or later. And look where you are now. Well done. And there's also a chest here with a rock splitter. Is that an upgrade? Oh, mama, it sure is. Uh, do we want to upgrade? Because we we're going to lose our bullseye. Here we're upgrading a lower level weapon, but we would also lose HP regen. Not really a fan of that. The area where you got tired of the game? Uh, hey, Tyrion. How you doing tonight? I'm going to replace... what does... dang it. What does Bullseye do again? Increases crit damage. This damage on enemies are in stun, weak, and break state. I'll do that. I feel like that's how a lot of people have handled uh, the new Animal Crossing game. I just played it a lot, got burnt out on it, and then eventually came back to it when the new content patch came out. Ah oh, we we made it that again. After that long climb, I wouldn't mind the break in one of these cozy houses. The next dungeon should be close by. I hope they let you enter without a huge load of exposition. And there is... A fair bit to do here, I think. Let's see. 17. Um, 17 treasure chests all throughout this area. Also, what, what do you sell here, if anything? Oh. Hi! Well, what do we have here? Another seeker, eh? Had a lot of your kind marching into Bergen with that first station of the track being here. Maybe you even- many of you even offer some assistance to us, being all do-goody and well-intentioned, I suppose. But can just anyone with a fancy title do real police work and face the worst of humanity? I doubt it. You want me- you want to prove me wrong, eh? All right, then I got a nice and simple practice task for you. Goat Kid. Okay. 
Okay then, I want you to take care of this dwarf goat that is annoying the good citizens of Bergen. Yes, yes, catching it might sound simple, but it's really quick. It likes to climb up to higher places. Stealing food, shiny stuff, and everyone's time, but I don't want to waste our manpower on it. Besides, it does sound like ideal seeker work, eh? So you better show me your work. That's the spirit. You should be able to find uh, to find it somewhere on the rooftops of Bergen. Happy climbing. Bye. <laughs> Unhappy feelings about the police around here. Um, let's see. What can I enter? Uh, should we be able to enter here? Yes. Green up high in the windy climb. Then there's a path only for a telepath. Interesting. Don't know what that means, but interesting. I do kind of wish that there was like a mini map in this game. It'd be useful sometimes. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna steal your treasure chest over there once I figure out how to get to it. There we go. Just water. Okay. To become a true avatar, you need to first master all four elements. I thought to be to be a true avatar, you just need to master air. Uh, the first element, heat, lies ahead in the temple mine. Prepare, it will test your wits before granting you new powers. Um, there, there's a lot of weird paths in this town that uh, I've had to kind of figure out. And I think some of them come from going up here and cutting over here, which is not an obvious thing to do. Some ways around here are also not going to be particularly accessible right now because of these um, ice blocks. What is that? This thing here. What is that? Yeah, it's knowing exactly what that is. Let's see. Dang it. S Snowman. This one is not alive, right? Oh wait, I saw a sparkly thing over here. Log entry 66 unlocked. Let's see what that is. Found six great signals which seem to phase in and out. Those are completely garbage. Facing Phasing was strangely binary. I report the phase interval to see if I get something. What I found is a message from the captain of a warship called Phoenix. 
Unless it's very broken and missing a big chunk at the end, it will take some time to repair it, even if that even if that even is possible. Section of log entries of unknown origin that have found their way into crossroads. Also, yeah, a lot of background information on Crossworld itself, the playground, the player, VRPs, Direct Link, Instatainment, which is the company that makes Crossworlds, avatars across gear. It's possible to control the, the character in game with absolutely zero lag. Can you imagine? Like playing a VR game, like paper VR game, and having this headset on, which is basically a VR headset, and experiencing absolutely no lag despite that this game is happening um, very far away. It's a matter. A lot of stuff here that we can get some background information on. Some, some of this background information is exclusive to Leah. It's not actually publicly available to, <coughs> to everyone. It's just something that um, Sergei made available to us. Hey! Welcome to our humble monastery, Seeker. This one's name is Nemo, and I am the spiritual guide for our order. Know that many souls desire understanding of the track, seek our guidance. Seeker is chief among them. We must, however, test their mental balance and physical aptitude to deem them worthy of our allegiance. What about you, young Seeker? Do you desire to be tested? Darn right. I felt that you would answer as such. The track resonates strongly inside you. Go to Monk Hasuk to, to start the first trial. You can find him under this very roof. Hi. Greetings, young one. I sense that our wise leader has has sent for you has sent you for me to test your. In I sent you for me to test your inner balance. Ah. Very well, but it is not I who will test you, but the very track itself. For that purpose, we prepared a trial that works in harmony with the track deep within these mountains. Enter this to reach the start of your trial. To show your worth, reach the other side and return with the sacred artifact found there. Mm -hmm. Aw, an instance? I wanted to do the quest together with you. Alright, so first part, we gotta press all the buttons without getting knocked out. We gotta wait. Eventually, the gate will open. Bring us to part two. Eventually, the buttons start. Uh, the. Oh, okay. Ah! The uh, turrets start moving around, what I was trying to say. Okay, so we gotta shoot him in over. Then once again, gotta wait not get knocked down somehow make that
Okay. Yeah, I keep pressing the wrong button is the problem. Because you can block. The problem is, when you block, um, you will get knocked back just slightly. Alright. Aspiration proof. Got it. My streaming tags are fucked or something. I don't know what that means. My streaming tags seem fine. All right, well, uh, have a good night, Julmara. Thanks for drink. Ah, thanks for dropping by. Ah, you have returned. Hi. Indeed, the firm aura that surrounds you speaks of your success. Also, the blessed trinket you return leaves no room for doubt. Very good. You should now return to the wide to complete the initiation. Bye. Ah, it is you again. Truly, I can feel the change inside you. Yes, what was once mere embers among dry leaves have become a fire that may one day shed light into the darkest of corners. Now I presume you desire our guidance and the wisdom you came for. But you see, by challenging yourself and beating our trial, you've already grown so much. Yes, leading you to find your determination and inner strength. That was our true guidance. <laughs> now, young seeker, take some refreshment and go forth to bring balance wherever you go. Bye. <laughs> Night. Seeker, you may have proven your worth, but I feel you still have some room for refinement. Me? Yes, you have beaten the first trial, but that does not mean you have mastered it. For this very purpose, we have prepared some, addi some additional challenges in the Cave of Aspiration. So we need to beat the cave in under two minutes, and also um, deactivate guarding. Excellent. I will reopen the passage for you. X with the raid, thank you very much. Hope that y'all are doing well. Uh, if anyone's new to here, I'm Coolio. If you don't know, I'm a variety streamer with uh, long plays on Tuesdays, uh, coding on Wednesdays, and uh, Archipelago Multiworld on Sundays, as well as maybe some other random streams here. This is Crosscode, which is a action RPG that takes place inside of an MMO. And, uh, has quite the story and personality to it. Return to me once you have solved the challenges. Bye. Alright. So let's see if we can do both of the uh, challenges at once. I'm not going to give this one too many tries, because I do want to kind of keep the stream going as well. Ah. Fine. Nope. 
Okay. Bottom horn first. Now this part is going to be a little harder with the... Uh... With no guarding, but you do you you get some additional platforms. Got it. Both of them on the first try. Ninja training indeed. I see you were successful once again. You have now solved every one of my trials. Impressive. There is nothing left for me that could challenge you, though the cave will stay open for you to perfect yourself. Bye! So we get the level 20 woolly socks. Let's go ahead and equip those. Oh, additional HP regen, got some status mend, which I think means... Uh, increases the recovery speed from negative status conditions. We do lose Iron Stance, which increases knockback resistance. Not too fussed about that. Uh, lots of max HP increase, some focus, lose a little bit of defense. Overall, a good upgrade. Okay. Um, but I don't think we're going to find a whole lot of upgrades here. Well, actually, not exactly jazzed about this one. This one, I think I might pick up. And this is straight up a downgrade. Um, still don't want to lose that HP regen. Yeah, I'm gonna pick up this, uh, this Iron Mail. Uh, square, which one is that? Pick up a few sandwiches. And that also gave uh, Emily the opportunity to upgrade a little bit. Um, her gear could definitely use a little bit more boost, but uh, It'll work for now. And there is the landmark, the main landmark for this area. Normal bridge? Why normal bridge if you could have laser bridge? Okay, I want to get into there. That is not the way into there. This is the way into there. Ah. Traders area. We're gonna document all of these traders. I'll be right with you. There we go. Hi! Ah, Seeker. It is a pleasure seeing more of your kind here in Bergen. I am Mrs. Summers, holding the the position of chairperson chairperson in Bergen Trade and Metalwork. 
Mia! Lovely. Alas, we should not spend too much time with high level pleasantries. After all, we business people have as much a responsibility to humanity's progress as any soldier. Sadly, some of, the, some of those among us are more concerned with personal vanities nowadays. But, appe uh, but appeasing even associates such as those falls on me as useless as, useless as it might seem. You, on the other hand, seem like a diligent young lady. Could I ask you to lighten my burden, with, burden a bit? Sure, why not? We could use the experience and the money. Excellent. Operation Trackwalker truly shows its worth in all facets of our society. The person in question is called Jamie Twelson. You should be able to find him in the local item shop. He wastes his time with the patience of his wa he wastes in his time and the patience of all his colleagues with the fruitless fashion experiments. Hopefully he can be of some assistance so he can finally work towards something more worthwhile. Bye! Oh, there's that goat. How do I get up there? Okay. There is a chest here that I can't get. Oops. Oh, I suppose I need to come here and... Not this room, but there is a chest that I can't get. Cool. Alright. Um... That... Ah, here we are. Dear Seekers, welcome to Bergen. As the mayor of this town, it always honors me to see so many visitors arriving day after day. Of course, that is, that's because this town's mine has become a part of it, the Ancient's Track. Since some of you look rather confused, allow me to quickly, to quickly explain. It all happened several years ago. Bergen was founded due to the mining activities in this area. After some time, we discovered a temple of the ancients hidden inside the mountain right at our mining location. At the time, we merely saw it as an obstacle. So we continued in our mining en endeavor, destroying the temple in the brothel. That was until the temple, uh, until the track started to fight back. After a series of attacks, we were forced to give up the mine. With the mine conquered by the track, it started to reconstruct the temple based on, its, based on our own infrastructure. And that's how the temple mine was born. Now why do I tell you all of this? Bergen supports Project Trackwalker, so of course we will give you access to the mine. However, we plan to get back into the mining business. When we lost the mine, we also lost equipment and technical documentation still hidden inside of it. All we ask of you is to recover these things as you help us traverse uh, is to, is to recover these things for us as you traverse the temple mine. For more information, please consult the advisors on the ground floor. With that being said, I'll now gladly give you the pass to the temple mine. 
Thank you very much for your attention and good luck on your journey. We mean the greed of mankind. In respect for all the ancient holy grounds, yada yada. Certainly heard heard that one before. Hi! Greetings, Seeker. You just heard the mayor's speech, am I correct? Good. As you mentioned, some important tools abandoned within the mine are still lost in silence. It would be a great help from the for the it'd be a great help to the entire town if someone could retrieve them for us. Can we count on your help, Seeker? Sure, why not? Very good. There are three types of uh, equipment missing. Laser pickaxe, laser TNT, and mining docks. You should be able to find all of these somewhere within the temple mine. Since the equipment might be difficult to spot, we hand out detectors to support your search. You can receive your detector from my colleague over there. Stay vigilant, Seeker. Telling us all of this because the games need a ton of lore to go with their side quest. I wouldn't really call this a side quest, it is kind of a main quest. Hi! Greetings, Seeker. I see you accepted the, the task of collecting the Temple Mine equipment. Please take this, this detector to aid your search. This detector will notify you when there is lost equipment in the current room of the Temple Mine. Good luck with the search! And we already know how to deal with add-ons because this uh, ninja garb is an add-on. We'll just go into the inventory. There it is. And turn on the mine detector. Which does not detect mines. It detects inside of mines. It's confusing. Anyway. Oh, DL. Oh, it's a DL request. Uh, it's a DL, D link request by Lucas. Hola, how you do? Bonjour, Monsieur Dark Lord. Hi. Oh, I see your party right now. That's just perfect. I'm here to cordially, cordially invite you to the headquarters of the First Scholars. First what? The First Scholars. That's my guild. I told the chief about you, about you two, and uh, she said we could use a couple of new members. Really? Are you thinking we can already join the guild? Yep. At least, never heard of any rule against it. Oh, genial. Of course, the folks would like to meet you first. So, if you're not busy right now, why don't you quickly drop by? Absolutely. We, we should totally go, Leah. Great. Let's meet at Autumn's Rise at, at the Old Obelisk. That's a landmark. Uh, you two can quickly just teleport there, remember? Yes, you. Alright, until then. The guild, the yeah, we'll join a guild! Isn't that awesome? Come on, but you're not, we, uh, better not let the Dark Lord wait for too long. A guild, hmm. Hmm. You will meet a lot of players. I have to admit, I'm a bit concerned. You must, uh, you remember that we must keep your amnesia a secret, right? Well, I suppose you cannot tell anybody about it anyway, Chris. In that regard, your speech malfunction turns out to be quite useful. Mm -hmm. So as they say, just go for it. Bye. Come on, Leah! Okay, so we have a guild invite. So we're gonna go and do that, and uh, after that we can probably take our break. At the old obelisk. Bonjour, Lucas. There you are. Thanks for dropping by. Let's just go straight to the headquarters. It's to the northeast. Just follow me. How big is your guild, anyway? Not big. You're about to see it yourself. The entrance is over there to the north. Here we are. Now this is the entrance to a, hall, uh, to a small and humble guild area. 
You'll need a path to enter, so here you go. This, uh, this item gives you access to our headquarters as well. Now then, let's go. And to the left. Oh, it's like a small village. Almost there. Here we are, the headquarters of the first scholar. Oh, it's a cute little house. Dojo or a small guild, right? Well then, ladies first. Merci beaucoup. Ah, oh, the newbies have arrived. This fella here is Buggy. Bonjour, Emily. Leah. Nice to meet you too. Lucas, Lucas. Bring in the girls as usual, huh? <laughs> sure, whatever. The others are waiting upstairs. As usual. Don't take him seriously. Then the newbies are here. Now now, Raphael, don't call them newbies, it's rude. Come on, Sheep, you know I'm joking. I look at you two. Welcome to our humble he humble headquarters. My nickname is Lynn, but you can call me Linda or just Lynn. This is Albert. Good day. Pleased to meet you. Bonjour, I am Emily. Hi, Leah. The Pentafist and the Sparrowmancer, how wonderful! If you two joined our guild, we have members of all five classes. Ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's go somewhere comfortable. Such a cozy little house. Nothing like I, like I had imagined it. Thank you so much. It's like the house I always wanted to own. Now, of course, it's not the fortress that many people expect. But really, the few of us wouldn't know what to do with all it, with all the space, eh? Also, it's not like we could afford the Castle of our Dreams. Yes, yes. So, they're just four members right now? Not quite, dear. Someone else joined us not too long ago, but he isn't around at the moment. Well, that makes five members in total. And you two just started playing, right? Me, we just reached Belgen and we're about to enter the mine. Ah, oh, wonderful. The first real dungeon. It was something special. The first time you'll be entering the heritage site of the ancients. Oh, what is that? It's what we seekers are looking for. We try to solve the secrets of the ancients, eh? Each heritage site includes a few pieces of the big puzzle. We we is a plot. That's right, dear. Did you know this, the full secret of the ancients has yet to be discovered? Really? Oh yes, they're so crafty about it. The official path of the game will only tell you so much. They keep releasing new quests that will reward you with more information. But the puzzle has yet to be completed. And yes, that is what our guild is all about. We are the first scholars and we study the ancients. We want to be the first to unravel the secret. Oh, I see. And now you understand why our guild is so small. <laughs> Hush, Raphael. Well, I think it's nice to be in a small guild like this. There's just too much stress and responsibility with the big ones. I think it's nice, right, Leah? Leah, yeah, my dear, you've been so quiet all the time. Is something the matter? Oh, she is just shy. Anyway, I'd be glad to join. You too, Leah. So, where do we sign? Now, now, we have a small tradition here for our new members. A quiz! A quiz. Oh, don't worry, it's very simple. You want to test your knowledge of the ancients, but for that, I'm afraid you'll need to to first com For that, I'm afraid you first need to complete the temple mine in Bergen. Just make sure you read everything at the heritage site, and you should be well prepared. Okay, all sounds good to me. Come on, Leah, let's do the dungeon. That's the spirit. It was a pleasure to meet you two. 
feel free to drop by whenever you like. Oh, and I suppose now is a good time to share contact, too. Alrighty, tell me when you're ready for the quiz. Uh, so that gives us some additional contacts, and we can at any point just deal it with them. There's not exactly much that we can say, but um, they might occasionally have interesting things to say. Nothing particularly uh, worth... Uh, I don't think there's anything that is kind of plot crucial that we need to dealing for from this menu. It's really just more flavor text and... As much as I love the flavor text in this, I will let you discover that for yourself. Also, we can do a silly thing and feeling Kimberly. Hi. Uh, hey, Leah. Why is it you? Why is it the L? I'm in your party now. <laughs> and no, we don't have access to this space. And I don't think that we ever will. There's just some spaces are just permanently cordoned off. That's just how it is. Anyway, um, yeah, now I think is a good time for us to go on break. Employees only, yeah, basically, Tyrion. Uh, let's leave it there. Okay. So, um, it is break time, so take a moment to, um, go to the bathroom, get some water if you need to, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth, and uh, in about 10 to 15 minutes, we shall be back with some more CrossCode, so we'll see you in a bit.